Hello friend, in this video I will discuss for calculation of time path of price with given demand and supply function along with initial condition. You can see in this question find the time path of price QDT that is demand function equal to 100 minus 0.5 PT PT that means price at period T and QST equal to supply function 50 plus 0.5 PT minus 1 that is price at previous period and uh, initial condition P0 is a given equal to 155 before moving solution for it for this questions if you come first time at my channel please subscribe my channel never forget to hit bell icon for all notifications so that you can get my latest video notification easily let us start solution for this questions and we know that quantity demanded equal to quantity supply at the equilibrium point and we need to equate cube dt equal to cube st okay cube dt equal to cube st and substituting the value given in this question cube dt equal to 100 minus 0 0.5 pt equal to cube st equal to 50 plus 0 0.5 pt minus 1 <coughs> The term available in RHS side we need to shift into LHS side. 100 minus 0 0.5 PT minus 50 is a coming from RHS side plus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 coming from RHS side it become minus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 in LHS side equal to 0. Now, first write down the price at current, uh, uh, current period minus 0 0.5 PT minus G and next term price at period uh, previous period minus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 and 100 minus 50 equal to plus 50 equal to 0. Now, take minus 1 as a common, minus, I am taking here minus 1 as a common, 0 0.5 PT plus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 and minus 50 equal to 0. Now minus 0 0.5 PT plus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 um, minus 50 equal to 0. Shifting minus 50 in RHS side it become positive. 0 0.5 PT plus 0 0.5 pt minus 1 equal to 50. Now 0 0.5 pt plus 0 0.5 pt minus 1 equal to 50. This term is written here. Dividing both sides, dividing in order to free PT from any coefficient, dividing of both sides by 0 0.5. 0 0.5 PT by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 PT minus 1 by 0 0.5 equal to 50 by 0 0.5 
one minute it is not working properly and you can see 0 0.5 0 0.5 cancel okay 0 0.5 0 0.5 cancel 0 0.5 0 0.5 cancel removing decimal putting one and you have to count how many digit after decimal single digit we need to put single zero five two are ten now we are left with this term pt plus pt minus one equal to 100 and uh, increasing increasing one period time subscript it become pt plus 1 plus pt minus 1 plus 1 equal to 100 and now plus minus cancel now we are left with pt plus 1 pt equal to 100 this become first order difference equation and we need to get general solution as well as definite solution in order to find the time path of price now how <coughs> as we know that general solution is the combination of complementary function and particular solution and how complementary function as well as particular solution can be obtained we need to learn about uh, homogeneous case and non-homogeneous case and first uh, difference equation are two kinds homogeneous case or non-homogeneous case homogeneous case non-homogeneous case Case. first thing complementary how complementary function is a calculated complementary function is a denoted by pc complementary function is a calculated from homogeneous case and how homogeneous case is a created from this first order difference equation just pt plus p p t plus one pt equal to 0 just putting constant term making constant term equal to 0 it become homogeneous case for solution uh, for complementary solution complementary solution can be obtained complementary function can be obtained by, uh, by from homogeneous case and uh, particular particular solution can be obtained from non homogeneous case and for original form of first order difference equation is non homogeneous case pt pt plus 1 pt equal to 100 particular solution is denoted by pp now and so far we got first order difference equation we need to get complementary function as well as particular solution in order to have a general solution of this first order difference equation first of all i am going to write uh, equation first order difference equation pt plus 1 pt equal to 100 for complementary function complementary function it is denoted by pc and complementary function we have already learned it can be obtained from homogeneous case first write down homogeneous case pt plus 1 plus pt equal to 0 and we know that 
एज्यूमिंग पी टी इक्वल टू ए बी टी एंड पी टी प्लस वन इक्वल टू ए बी टी प्लस वन नाउ सब्टीट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ पी टी प्लस वन एंड पी टी ए बी टू दी पावर टी प्लस वन प्लस ए बी टी इक्वल टू जीरो टेकिंग द कॉमन ए बी टी we are left with inside the bracket b plus 1 equal to 0 b plus 1 equal to 0 by 0 abt and uh, <coughs> b plus 1 equal to 0 and b plus 1 equal to 0 therefore b equal to minus 1 and it is a very simple how uh, i have a taken factor out of a Times b to the power t and b t plus one. It can be written a to the power m into a to the power n, having base same power is a add up. Like that, it can be written b t times b. Hidden power is a one. If I take common b t, so we are left inside bracket only p. And now. Complementary function equal to a b t equal to a substituting the value of b minus one to the power t. This is the complementary function a times minus one to the power t. Now next task to calculate particular solution and particular. solution can be obtained from non homogeneous case you can see here non homogeneous case non homogeneous case particular solution denoted by pp non homogeneous case that is the original form of first order difference equation assuming pt equal to k k is constant pt plus 1 equal to k substituting the value k plus k equal to 100 2k Equal to hundred, therefore k equal to hundred by two fifty. Now P P particular solution equal to k, and we got uh, value for k equal to fifty. Now particular solution equal to fifty. Now we are in position to get general solution. General solution is the combination of the part, uh, complementary function and particular solution. General solution. General solution. P T equal to P C plus P P. That is complementary function plus particular solution. Substituting the value, we all we have already calculated a minus one to the power t plus fifty. Now initial condition given in this question p zero equal to one fifty five. Putting t equal to zero, now equation become and you need to put zero in place of t everywhere. P zero. A minus one to the power zero plus fifty. Here P zero value is given in this question one fifty five equal to A. If any number having power of zero, whose uh, its it yield it it is equal to one. Any number having power equal to one. Now plus fifty. Now one fifty five minus fifty plus fifty is a shifting from RHS to LHS side equal to a and one zero five equal to a. You know that definite solution. 
how definite solution can be obtained definite solution only substituting the value of a in general solution here is the general solution pt equal to what value we got for a 105 <coughs> minus 1 to the power t plus 50 this is the definite solution and this is also this is also this is the time path time path of price at period t period t this is the complete video this is the time path of price at period t equal to 105 minus 1 to the power t plus 50 this is the complete video finding time path of the price and thanks for watching my video till end jai hind